Katie, Katie. He's a good boy. What a good lad you are. Come on then. Come on. Oh, he's a good boy. Oh, he is such a clever boy.
chamados. Creep, walk, stretch, stretch out, and walk. That's it. Okay. Never creep, walk. Come on, make him make. You have to be positive, otherwise you'll make him frightened, because he thinks you're frightened. So you move, you move like you've been walking in for years. You like to do me, don't you? Good girl. Well done. Go all the way around the ring for me. I'm not right it. You try it. Stop, don't look at him, just stand still. Wait. And now move on. That's it, walk. Come on, girl, be positive. He's not going to do anything apart from follow you. And now stop. And when you turn to your left, that's that one now. Turn towards him, turn towards him, right towards him, turn around, mean it. Look him in the eye and gently reach out with your right hand and stroke him on the neck. Your left hand doesn't matter, that's it, just stroke him. Okay, and put your hand on his back and walk up, okay? Put that rope up, stand still, stand still, stand very still, stand still. Don't let him go. Stand still. Wait, wait, wait. Well done. Excellent work. You didn't panic. Brilliant. Good boy. You see how quickly he learned then that when you stood still, even though he, he was a little bit panicky because he'd had that he had that uh, rope around his leg, he, 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 it took him a few seconds to think about it. What happened last time I did this? I stood still and they released me from it. Okay? He's a baby, he wants to play. Mm -hmm. He's got a bit of adrenaline now and he's like, woo, let me play. Oh, what a pretty boy. What a pretty boy. Huh? Oh, look at that. Oh, woo. Lad, good boy, good fella. He's about to stroke on his shoulder. Don't be frightened of him, he won't hurt him. Okay? He's more frightened of you. And if you show him fear, he'll run away from you. I don't want him to run away, I want to stand still. So, he's nice, he's nice he walks towards you, nice and gently but not scary. Look at his shoulder, slowly reach out, touch him, and stroke him all over his shoulder. Don't let the hand come off his back sit like that. Now work out to his backbone and work along his backbone. That's it, follow him then. If he moves, follow him. Mm -hmm. Okay, so come back and start again. Okay, so into his shoulder. Stroke him. Okay, continue to stroke him. Look at his backbone. Go in closer to him so he feels you close. That's it. And now gently make your way back along his backbone. A bit at a time, back forward, back a bit, back forward, fella, it's fine. She's not going to hurt you, no, she's not going to hurt you. She's not going to hurt you, she's not going to hurt you. So once again, we're teaching him, not only to be touched all over, 
but also we teach them to focus on somebody at the front so whatever happens behind him is not going to hurt him. So when the farrier gets hold of him, when the vet gets hold of him, if somebody stands quietly in front here and he focuses on them, and as long as we're honest and nobody hurts him, he'll always believe that when somebody stood here and somebody starts to handle him there, it'll be good. That applies when somebody eventually stands up and sits on his back. It's like his back ends on still. That's the release, not when he says. <laughs> 